Jake Mulraney, League of Ireland, SSC Artricity, Soccer Riders Player of the Month for September. Congratulations. How does it feel to have won the award? Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a good feeling, yeah. It's um it's nice to get that recognition. Um but ultimately it's about the team and I'm just happy that we're at the tone in the corner now and we've kicked on. I know you just spoke to some of the newspaper journalists there about the amount of your teammates who could also be nominated. Brandon Kavanagh was nominated and actually came second in the vote and it just shows how well the team has been playing that we've had so many good performances over the last few weeks. Yeah, like I said, I think it could have been four or five of the lads in there. Um, we've been we've been good of, as of late, so well, hopefully now we can just take that into the last three games. Talk us through your own month of September and the teams. We won all the league games. I know you weren't involved in the Leinster Senior Cup as well, but that semi-final took place that month as well. So it was five from five in the league. Lots of goals and some really exciting football, particularly involving yourself and your fellow attackers. Yeah, like I said, I think we... I think we averaged three goals a game in the past six or seven games. So, um, yeah, we've been doing well. And the boys at the back as well have been solid and chipping in with goals too. So, it's uh, all around it's been a good few months collectively. It seems, watching the games, that you guys just have a huge amount at the moment of self-belief and confidence that when you go onto the pitch, when the team attacks, when the team counter-attacks, that something will come of that. What's that been like to play in and you guys in the attacking third, I suppose, being alive that when the ball does break to you or is fed to you, you know you're going to hopefully create something? Yeah, I've always said it, momentum is huge in this league and um, we're, um, we've got decent momentum at the moment. But yeah, look, like, like the attacking players, like it's, it's, been, it's been good since the gaffers come in. Like we've, we've been a lot more attacking team. Um, and when you've got boys like like we have um, gone forward, I think that we're always we're always a threat. You and Zach have been uh, good pals on and off the pitch since he's joined the club. You assisting him, him assisting you, winger to winger, which I know is something the manager Stephen Kenny loves his wingers. But I know you're on one side and and Zach's on the other, and you've both had a really good impact and seem to have formed a good relationship together. Yeah, he's he's excellent. He's um he's exactly what I think we needed to be honest. He's a uh, He's been brilliant since he's come in, but like I said, like the attacking players we have, like Brando's nearly got twenty goal contributions, Skitchy, Joe's popping up at goals, Keane is there, uh, with boys coming off the bench, so like the attacking threat we've got all round is is exciting. Yeah, the set piece threat as well, you know, speaking to Joe Redmond after the win at, at Daily Mount the other night, he scored in three derbies in a row from crosses or, or set pieces I know you sometimes take them you're sometimes in the box and Sean O'Connor and, and Brian Gartner were carved you guys on the train to pitch on them but they're they're a big part of our game at St Pat's and, and have proved key whether you're taking them or, or in the box and of course some of your free kicks as well yeah yeah I mean the, the staff are massive Sean E. Gartz and the gaffer are heavy on the set pieces and they spend a lot of time on them um, hence why we've been scoring goals as of late from set pieces so it's a uh, it's nice to see it coming off, yeah. In terms of the last couple of weeks, like the, the three away Dublin derbies in a row, to win all three, to score three goals in, in each of them, um, I suppose says a lot about the, the quality of the group and also, I suppose, the the mentality, given that we had to come back late to win a Tolka and maybe not our best first half in Daily Mount, but a really strong second half as well. But had you said on a couple of weeks ago, you would have nine points with nine, nine goals, scored three wins, you would, you would have taken it, but it's been three really good performances and three different performances as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, like I said, the staff tactically are very good, so each game has been different. So we've been able to set up well in each of the games. Um, like you said, um, Bowes the other day, first half probably wasn't our best performance, um, but we 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 had a chat at half time, and I felt like we came out stronger in the second half. And obviously, the sending off kind of killed Bowes a little bit, but um, yeah. Then ultimately, look, it's still up to us to go and to go and win the game and. Thankfully, we did do that. Back home tomorrow, Friday, against Galway, and then another home match against Derry next week, having been away for the three games in a row with the international break thrown in as well. I know you guys love Richmond, and we're expecting a huge crowd tomorrow back there, and another big one against Galway in front of our home supporters. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to need everyone. Um, Galway is a, is a tough, tough game. Um, the way they set up and um, how they play, it's very hard to play against, so we, we're going to need that little push as well, yeah. And the fact that we're expecting like as big a crowd as we'd have for a home Dublin derby tomorrow, 
um, I suppose just says how excited the supporters are to watch you guys and create big atmospheres which we've had some, some great wins at Richmond I think our, our last three matches there we've, we've scored 10 goals and, and won all of them as well and hopefully more of the same Yeah like you said hopefully we can do the same again tomorrow um, like I said it's going to be a tough task tomorrow against Galway they're also flowing and they're also in the mix um, for Europe so yeah we just have to kind of go out there and hopefully carry on the same momentum as we have and just lastly, Jake, there's been lots of talk in the media among supporters and stuff about how, how tight the league table is. If you look at Shells at the top on 54 and Galway level with us in, in fourth and fifth on, on 50 points with three games left, where do you see things heading into the last three? Because there has been a lot of talk of, of what may or may not happen between now and, and the last three matches. Yeah, uh, like I mentioned before, um, in the space of a few months, we've come from a relegation battle to fight for Europe to now in contention for the league. So, like I said, we just have to do our, our stuff and hopefully we can get three more wins and see how the rest of them get on. Great. Thanks, Jake. Well done Thank on your you. award again and good luck tomorrow night. Thanks, Jamie. Come on, Greg.